How's it going boys and girls? Welcome back to my presentation channel. As usual, my name is Akmal and for activity 19, pitching presentation practice 2, I will be making a pitch to introduce an idea which is banning zoos. You heard it right. Say no to zoos. That's the tagline. Say no to zoos. Seriously though, why do we say no to zoos? I'm going to share a little bit of my reasonings behind this idea. Firstly, here's some background info as why some people choose not to support zoos as experienced by PETA. Animals are routinely taken from the wild to be put on display in zoos. Zoos also breed animals, claiming good intentions but simply using the bread animals for display. According to the organization's Freedom for Animals, animals often suffer at zoos for a few reasons. They are not in their natural habitat. Animals are trained, sometimes using violent methods. To the tricks for gases, there is not sufficient space for animals at zoos, according to the Guardian. See this ridiculous pattern here. Polar bears have 1 million times more space to roam in the wild than they do at zoos. And as Peter added, zoos prevent animals from carrying out the most basic and natural activities. That includes running, choosing a mate, exploring. Additionally, because so many zoo goers come to see baby animals, zoo often trade, sell, or even kill animals once they get older and draw less crowds. As detailed in a New Yorker article, there is even a neurotic condition called zoocosis, which some animals get as a result of being held in captivity which can cause frustration, boredom, depression, lack of natural habitat, and more. According to your daily vegan, zoocosis symptoms include biting zoo bars, self-mutilations, eating and playing with faces, and excessive grooming, the outlet noted. So what's the solution here? What's the alternatives here? But we do have solutions. There are a few options that we have. Wildlife parks are becoming more popular in today's world. These provide more space for animals to wander around. They provide a habitat which is more similar to animals' natural homes. A more permanent solution which would enable us all to see animals in the wild would be for airlines to reduce their ticket prices. If air travel were cheaper, then we would all be able to see the wild animals in their natural habitat. And there would be no need for zoos in our cities. We should also promote channels on TV such as National Geographic, here, people can see wildlife as in should be seen. If you're more interested in seeing farm animals, you would probably love visiting a farm sanctuary. Plus, because farm animals are domesticated, many farm sanctuaries allow visitors to pet, fit, and pose for photos with animals. With tour guide, supervision. For example, there is Woodstock Farm Sanctuary located in Hyde Falls, New York. The sanctuary is open for public tours on the weekends and it accepts volunteers during the week. At Woodstock Farm Sanctuary, you can observe and meet animals including cows, chickens, pigs, sheep, and goats who have been rescued from situations including factory farming, big rows, dairy farms, and 
backyard butchers. So we need to create this morn, this wildlife park, this farm sanctuary, this animal tracks, which is a small public hands-on exotic wildlife sanctuary. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to take this opportunity and chance for you guys to join the campaign and help us to join, make this a reality. Let's not be ignorant anymore towards this condition. We can change the future, the future for our animals on our planet. It's been your boy, it's been your boy Akmal. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in a bit.